Row. That's a pretty big worm. Yeah. We're going to get to cracking, Captain. We have two booster boxes. We are going to break on open. Hopefully, we pull the big whammies. Uh, we've had some luck. The first, this is another like case break, guys. So, the first um, two boxes we opened up, here are the pools that are the foil goodness. Uh, pretty redunculous. That Beast Whisperer looking hot sauce. Uh, Containment Priest, Vanquisher's Banner, Contagion Glass, and Ethereal Armor. All some pretty solid hits. Uh, one up one up there a little bit in price. What a what? Are we going to get out of these, though? Well, let's get to cracking, Captain. Thanks for tuning in, guys and gals. I appreciate you. My audience of women is 2.9% female. Not too bad. Not too bad, you know. We're working on that. It'll never change. But, you know, we give it our all. Big shout out to Ground Zero Comics. If you're ever in the area, give them a look. I'm cracking these for the store. And uh, also so we get a chance to see what all is up inside of these, man. Um, could be some crazy goodness. You never know. All right. Put the packs just a bit off camera, but just enough so we know they can't move. Okay. Are you guys ready? Let's do this, Brutus. Pack cracking. What's your guys' best pool? I want to hear about it. Bragging rights right now in the comment section. What is your biggest pool? What's your... What's your just dirtiest of the dirts that you got out of one of these boxes? Um, love to hear it. I've had, of course, we've ha 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 mastery gorgeous baby. Wow, off rip, off rip. That master of pearl trident. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Holy smothering ties, baby. We got to get to sleeve in Cleveland. Woo! Oh man, that is breathtaking. Wow. Let's slide her on in, huh? Oh, there you go, fella. Very, very nice. All centered, all squared. Looking good. Holy crap. Let's do a price check. Very first pack. $87.90. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, what a freaking hit. Uh, <laughs> that's, um... That's phenomenal. First pack, baby. All right. Looking good. Looking darn good. Uh, can we keep that going the rest of the video? I wonder if they have God boxes. Every box you get a foil time-shifted card. Could you... What? What? <laughs> oh, my God. What if we have a God box? No way. No way, ho, freaking Zay. We got to do another price check. What? Oh, my goodness. $32.79 for Lavinia Azorius Renegade. I don't know how to break this to you guys, but right now we are sitting at a hundred in uh, roughly $120. Hundred fifteen in value for two freaking packs. That's insane. But what if there are god boxes? Back to the god box talk. Where every single one you end up pulling, um, yeah, crazy sauce, man. Ooh, vampire hacks page. Not gonna happen today, pal. Not gonna happen today. Ooh, these time shifted are fun though. Maybe we'll just do a whole line of time shifted. We'll go like this. What do you guys say, huh? Make a whole fun line of time shifted. Yeah, you like that? That's fun, huh? Okay. Um, the regular cards are uh, are going up. Like, this stuff is crazy. Uh, I don't know if you watched my last video talking about this, but, um, I mean, good chance. Watsy, nice paradoxical. Okay. I'm not going to talk about every single card, but um, Wizards of the Coast is more than likely going to do what they did with Commander Legends. And that simply is... They're going to uh, drop a bunch of boxes, a few pallets worth, on their Amazon uh, store. Um, they make more money that way. So there you go. Lava Spike. Ew, and a foil Venser, Shaper Savant. This has been a, a really nice, uh, nice... Let me move this a little bit over here. There we go. Just squeeze in that foil, that foil goodness, because we're doing things different around here today. Um, this is a really good box so far. Um, can't complain. We can only go north, right? 
I'm going to go north. But yeah, they're going to dump a bunch of cards or a bunch of uh, boxes on their site. Ooh, Angel's Grace. Not too bad. Not too bad. With Blood Braid Elf. <sighs> I remember when this card was worth a lot. And a Clockwork Hydra. There you go. Cool, cool. Also, um, I tuned into a live stream last night watching a, a young fella crack some packs. You guys might know who he is. Uh, Jake and Joel. I was watching them for a little bit. He's got like the Elvis hair going on, you know. Um, but very interesting fella. Uh, good times over there. Um, they had they had some okay luck. It wasn't too bad. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Hedron Archive. Every now and then I like to go out in the community and be like, hey, I'm at home eating. This is what I ate last night. Um, I got a bacon cheeseburger pizza with tomato on it. <sighs> My stomach is still heavy. And I only had like four slices of that pizza. But while I'm sitting there, you know, basically dying uh, of a heart attack, I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to go uh, see what's going on in the community. It was late at night, too. It was like 1130 at night. I was getting ready to pass out. And there's, uh, there's Jake and Joel doing their thing. I'm like, cool. So that was fun. That was fun. That, that, that was my last night. What did you guys eat last night? Do you remember what you ate last night? Or what did you eat this morning? Sometimes I'm curious about that. Like, what do people eat? You know? I mean, some people eat other people. Don't do that. But, I mean, what did you guys eat? I mean, usually my diet is not that bad. It's definitely not that bad, you know? Usually, like, I wake up, have a bowl of cereal or something. Uh, or a smoothie, you know? And uh, just kind of go from there. And then uh, have a have kind of a light lunch, you know? Usually, sometimes I skip lunch. A lot of times I've been skipping breakfast, but I try not to. Because that's got to be your energy for the day. Uh, but then I always try to include, if I can... Uh, every, anytime there's vegetables and fruits around, man, I am, I'm getting fruity with it, you know, and I'm eating them veggies hundred percent. You got to, man, you got to clean yourself out. Eternal witness. That's my witness right there. And I'm eating veggies. You got to clean yourself out, man. It's that simple. You got to take care of yourself, fellas, ladies. No one else will, you know, only it's up to you about your health. So anyway, this is, this is not a, this is not a life lesson on eating, eating healthy. Cause I make a lot of poor choices. Bacon cheeseburger pizza boy. That's right. Ooh, Arcades Strategies. Very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I can go like almost an entire day without eating, which I think is a little nuts. I, I, it's not healthy to do that. You probably couldn't tell because, you know, uh, I still got a few pounds on me, but the summer is coming. Spring is almost here, and man, that's when I get in shape again. So I'm hoping to, hoping to drop like 15 pounds, you know. Got to have some kind of goal. Um, so yeah, drop 15. I'll be all right. I am six foot one, technically like six, one and a half, you know, kind of a taller guy. Um, but my weight just, um, not long ago. Uh oh, uh oh, mine's dab. Uh, not too long ago, my weight, I was pushing 235, 235, almost 240. That's, that's a lot of weight, man. <laughs> But uh, I've since already dropped down to about 218, I think is where I'm at right now, roughly, give or take, you know, it's around 220. Uh, thank goodness, man. But I'm, I'm feeling better already with the, the, the drop, you know, I just try to stay a little bit more active, not eat late at night. That's why last night was like, man, I, I just want to eat, I want to get gross with it, and I just want to sit and watch some YouTube, you know, that's that was my goal, and I it was, it was goal accomplished. <laughs> But that man, these cards all got these dings on them. I don't know what to make of that. I'm sorry, but it's, it's, it's the box, man. Um, it's how the packs come. But I, I mission accomplished. Let me tell you, complete mission accomplished there. Um, yeah, I got that, and I loved it. Oh man. But now it hurts. It hurts, guys. All right, I got Crovax. Ponder, baby. If we had you in foil, girl. That is gorgeous. This thing's still going for about twenty dollars, which is uh, which is really really amazing that the price is able to hold that high, like twenty bucks for a card, man. That's is it wasn't Ponder a common as well? It might have been uncommon. I, I, I thought it was a common though, but it's just a, a, an insanely uh, powerful card. That one drop right there got a sliver and a foil sliver. Nice. Okay, that's a rare. So wow, doing all right. We are, uh, it's two rare foils and, uh, two foil time shifted cards. These boxes are really doing good. The first two boxes we opened are the first, uh, case I should say I opened. We only got so many 
Um, it wasn't really that great, man. Um, wow, a lot of slivers up in here. Um, I think we had five or six. Do we have? I think we had six, maybe. It was bad. Put it that way. It, it was bad. Not many time shifted foils. Um, yesterday's video, we had three time shifted foils in one box, which is not very common. Um, you're, you're likely to get maybe one of those kind of boxes out of like every 30. So that's something. Lingering Souls, pretty cool. Love that card. So yeah, that was nice. We did, we did lovely. We did lovely, darling. We did lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, got ourselves a Micon. Damnation, nice hit. Uh, Damnation itself, man, going for like peace within is cool. Uh, Damnation itself, going for like thirty. I'm just gonna put it in this pile. I'll organize them all later. Um, take all the mythics out. Yeah, did our Damnation? No, twenty five, twenty eight, around there. Twenty five to twenty eight bucks for a Damnation. Pretty slick, man. Pretty slick. Oh, yeah, the prices are going to come down, boys and girls. If they end up doing that, no way. Say it ain't so. Oh, God. Thought for a second we had something fantastic. Nope, just a Terramorphic Expanse. Nothing special. All right, moving along. Okay. I want to get back into live streams. And, I, I mean, it's a good possibility I will. It's a good possibility. People, people keep asking for them. What do you guys think, man? I need to hear some feedback. What do you think about Joey getting back into live streams, you know? Maybe one. I used to do one a month. Every month I would do one. But um, I haven't lately. You know, for a long time. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Elemental. Char. Nether Trader. Great card. Followed by the old signal. Okay. Right. Down to last few packs. I miss live streams because it was so much fun communicating with everyone. Um, and I got trolled a lot. It was so funny. Like, I... <laughs> Um, the, I'd say the first like 50 live streams I've ever done, you know, between Twitch and, uh, and on YouTube, uh, I got, I got trolled. I got trolled a lot, baby. <laughs> and I fell for it. I was so gullible. Some of the things people would say, I'd be like, Oh really? And everyone's like, no, you idiot. <laughs> it comes with the red hair, you know, you know what, you know what they say. Time of need. Skidink. All right. Man, I'm still I'm sweating right now opening this because of the cheeseburger, bacon, tomato pizza I had last night. This thing weighed a ton. I'm telling you. You, you ever have anything like that? Like it is out of this world, man. <laughs> out of this world. Life and limb, not to be confused with life from the loam. Uh, but man, that, I swear I picked this thing up. It probably weighed like three pounds, like realistic, like maybe four pounds. It was up there. Containment Priest and our Quisit. Quis quis okay, sure. Oh, I'm still feeling it. I'm still feeling it. Um, worst thing, or not worst thing ever ate, but I also one time at Chipotle. I used to love Chipotle, but I feel like they changed their recipe and they just went downhill. Cool Wheel of Fate there. Um, I feel like they went downhill over the past few years and kind of lost that, lost their luster, you know? I think they changed the recipe, though. But there was one time I ordered a burrito. No joke. This thing weighed three and a half pounds. The guy put it on the scale. It was the size of, like, a baby. Um, it, it was gargantuous. I almost finished the whole thing. I wish I could tell you I finished the whole thing. But it was, like, triple meat. Uh, I got... Well, it was, like, triple steak and triple chicken. They had to use, uh, I think, two, was it two or three shells? or wraps to, to wrap this thing up, man. I felt after I ate it, after I ate it, when I pushed it out, I was giving birth. Like it was that, it was that crazy. Was that a mark on that? No. Um, it was that crazy. Oh, but, oh man. I mean, I got a picture of it too, somewhere. I got to dig it up. Probably on social media somewhere. Um, the thing was just enormous. It was like the size of my bicep. And this was at the time when I, um, I had a very, uh, labor intensive job, uh, setting up like stages and equipment for big events and parties and stuff. So I was always lifting heavy, uh, heavy objects. And this was like two years into working there. You know, my bicep was like the size of my head. It was like, they were huge. Um, and, uh, the burrito was just as big. <laughs> it was nuts. Restoration Angel. Cool, cool. Down to three cards here. Down to three cards in this box. 
Uh, Dusk Rider, man, we started off so hot uh, with those two foils. See, look, another like chip up there, man. That's another chipper on the hive stone. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Charm, bada bing. I pray to God that's not me causing that. I mean, yeah, because you know, that, that can't be me causing. Yeah, see, it's not me causing that. It's on that one, too. I, I made sure I was careful to open that one. Um, yeah, so that's not good that there's all these uh, problems with these packs already. Uh, SRAM, senor. I bet he goes for a pretty penny, probably like 70, 80 bucks for a SRAM. That'd be a nice foil. Anyone pulled a foil path to exile out of this product yet? Um, because I have not. Love to hear about it. A Chroma's Memorial, bada bing, for our last pack. Stip Weed Boy, showing some face, and Thalid Germinator. Nice way to go out. Last pack, Moss is back with that at Chroma's Memorial. Get off my sack. Woo! All right, it's clean up time, baby. Do another. Let's do this, Brutus. Scudu. All right, back at her again. So that first box, not bad, not bad. Can we do better? Can we do better? That uh, It started off so strong. First two packs, 120 bucks, really. Just absolutely insanity, man. And then it kind of teetered off. So um, we will see. Still had big, big pulls, though, out of that. Um, you can't go wrong with time shifted. Ever. Ever, guys. Ever, ever, ever. Oosh. Let's do this, baby. Looking for time-shifted foils because they're worth more than anything in the world right now. All right, let's find them. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, let's get that sorted. Here we go. And Thelon, Shriek Maw, Gem Hide Sliver. Okay. All right. Nothing just nuts yet. Nothing nuts. Nothing crazy. All right, just a felon boy. Just a felon boy. Okay, okay, move this pile. We gotta move some piles. We gotta get piled up. Okay, boom, 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 boosh. Dryad, Swarm Yard. Okay, so that's two rares back to back right there. I don't know how common that is, but we got two rare lands back to back. That does not ever happen. That is a first uh, right there. With a Contagion Clasp. <laughs> so two rares, Contagion Clasp, and a Fathom Seer. It, Wizards, did you mean to do that? <laughs> was that a was that a boo boo? Um, that was pretty cool if it was. What did we get? One, two, three, and we still got um, three uncommons out of there. So what was it? Just a bonus card? Someone messed up. That's cool. We'll take it. Uh, that's rare. You don't see that every day, guys. Faceless Teleria West. Bada bing. Feather redeemed. Yeah, that's nuts. That's really nuts, actually. Now that I think about it, that's really crazy. Two hmm. rares, man. Okay, we can do it again. Can we do it again? Ooh, yeah, yeah, Ballard. Dismember, gorgeous. Love that card. We're going to swap these two piles. Let me show you something real quick. Bam! Do you like my lightning dragon? There's like four of them right there. Yeah. Sweet. Fan made me that and sent it a long time ago. That is a sick card, especially considering I think Lightning Dragon's up to like what 15 bucks a pop now, something like that. Uh, pretty nice, and it's on the reserve list, so that is that's like a really special card to me. All right, and we got Dungeon Warden showing face. Let's pull a big one, let's get that home run, baby. Can we predict which pack it is in? I bet I can. I bet you I can. All right, let's see. One, two. It's not going to be this one. Living End. That's a little something. Solemn Boy. Okay, we've got Solemn Boy. Um, I'll tell you right now what pack it's in. It's in this pack right here. There. Just, let, just so you guys know. It's that pack right there. I mean, I rig them all every time I open, so, you know, we just do it like that. Just might as well let the cat out of the bag, you know. Prodigal Pyromancer. Cool. Magus of the Moon, Lingering Souls, followed by, ooh, Felon of Havenwood Foil. Cool. All right. Glad to see that. I haven't seen it. Hey, I'll just show you what it is. You want to see the big hit? Here it is, guys, right here. Here it is, the biggest hit of the world. Let's get it. Cloud Skate. Thick boy. Arc. 
Greater Gargadon, and that was a big bold lie. Yikes. Moving along. <laughs> Moving along. Okay. Let's go. Here it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. No. Ooh, we are really getting slow now with uh, the pools. So are they all on the bottom? We have one Mythic out of here. No uh, time-shifted foils as of yet. We got a Chrome Star, which is fun. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can we get a triple rare pack, maybe? Double rare pack? No? Time of need? I need a time of need right now to step up the pack, son. Right now, we opened like four bucks worth of value, and we're like ten packs in. Come on, boy. Let's step it up. Boom, boom, boom. Wheel of Fate? Okay. Okay. Oh, whoops, oops, oops, yep. That goes here, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a step up in the right place. Mm, Mo Drifter. Still have not pulled any of those huge, huge hits yet, man. Which is nuts. Um, I mean, I don't think we pulled anything over a hundred bucks. But maybe there's one card. Mo Drifter, foil, breathtaking. Uh, price? $54.99. Gorgeous. Beautiful Mall Drifter right there. Taking it, that's three. Man, two blue. Is this box going to possibly have the Ponder? Or will it be the last two boxes we open up that have the Foil Ponder? The world may never know. you got to stick around for the whole series. you got to stick around. Fibbleth Boy and Knight of Circe. Okay. Fibbleth would be all right to get, too. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm happy with any one I get, really. Um, I just hope the LGS, you know, gets some good stuff here. Here we go. Founder, Lotus Bloom. And the Ascendancy. Okay, 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 okay. Stuff, things. Okay. Come on. Big, big winner. Come on. Let's hit it big. Marcus, this one's for you, pal. This one's for you. Here we go. We need that big one. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, Tombstalker. Watch out. Manifold key, prodigal pyromancer. Okay, All right, we tried. All right, sorry, Marcus. Okay. Moving along. Moving along. Uh, about halfway through the box. Uh, luck be on my side, maybe? Mm, uh, stuffy doll, not gonna do it. Harvest of Souls is a pretty cool card. Yeah, I'm surprised where these prices are at. But again, there's a very low supply. And, oh boy, I think we got a hot diggity dog. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Coalition Relic, oh my god. The Golden Fang, and, oh, I wanted that bad. Lucky son of a biscuit. Oh, baby, baby. Pulls the foil freaking wastes. That is an exceptional pull, my friend. Holy cow. Fuck, that's amazing. All right, uh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful wastes. What is that going for? That'll set you back 53.68. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful, beautiful waste. We got two. I'd be happy with two uh, in any box, honestly. If you get two, you're doing good. Because I've opened a box where there was none. Not one in the in, in the entire box. I mean, that, that makes you sad in pants right there. Miss Confluence. Cool, cool. Yeah, just not opening one, that, that does hurt, you know. But what are you going to do, man? Some get one. Some get... Uh, I think a lot, you know, it's one or two. But, like, I think a lot is two. But then uh, you get those times where you get three, baby. Like yesterday. If you haven't seen that one, whoa. Whoa. I still want that ponder. Like, you can make the entire box trash. Just give me the foil ponder or foil thought seize. And I only want the ponder because, like, it's, uh, so many people are like, I don't know why it's worth so much, you know? I don't get it. And, uh, I kind of see your argument, you know? But, dude, that's like a staple in a lot of builds, you know? Um, especially like legacy and stuff, you know, and you go back and vintage or whatever. They use crazy cards, man. Um, and the value you get on it, the card lets you do just about everything you'd want to do, you know? 
Um, you get to, what, Scry 3, basically. Um, not Scry 3, well, kind of. Um, and then draw. You know, you get to draw a card. or sh And shuffle if you chose to before you draw. That's that's out of this world, man. Like that's that's out of this world. So if a top three cards are crap, you know you can just throw them to the side, whatever, all right, and then shuffle up and hope for that, you know, top draw, um, the top deck. What more do you want out of a card? And it's optional to shuffle too. You don't even have to shuffle, you know. Um, fantastic, fantastic card, and it's all for one. Like seriously. Wasn't that a musical band? Wasn't that wasn't that like a wasn't that a band back in the day? Tefiri. There you go. Got the mage. Tefiri. Silence and the Merciless. Lord of Mercy. Alright, alright. Foil Wastes. Maldrifter. Lavinia and Master of Pearl Trident. Out of this, uh, these two boxes. Pretty legit. Another trader, always welcome in the house. And another wastes. Wow. I wonder what these wastes are. Just regular wastes. It's probably going for a pretty penny. Six dollars. Six bucks for a regular waste right now. I mean, that's the market price. Uh, you could probably pick one up, I'm sure, somewhere for like four or five bucks, you know. Um, if you're lucky, somewhere even cheaper. Hive stone. Oh, we got a foil. Whoa, containment priest. Pulled a lot of containment priests lately. Definitely pulled a lot of containment priests. All right. Gentlemen, ladies, we are down to the final stretch. Get your hats on because uh, I don't know why you want to put your hat on. Take, leave your hat off. Um, reaches. <laughs> Path, I, I thought it was Path X out. The Palace Jailer. Man, that was way off. Yep, down to the last stretch. I think this is pack eight. So here we go. Come on, Daddy. Let's bring it home. Let's bring it freaking home. Gemstone Caverns. Oh, yeah. There's some value right there. Riding that value train. Relentless Rats. Marcus told me I I'm not allowed to pull Relentless Rats foil. <laughs> I, I guess out of the limited amount of boxes he opened, he pulled three. I'm like, oh, that's brutal. <laughs> not that it's a terrible card, but, you know, you just don't want to see any more of that. Gray Merchant of Ashfordale. But could you imagine? Wait, is that the one where... Yeah. Imagine making an entire deck, or your entire deck, you know, having Relentless Rats in it, you know, like 35, 40 cards, all Relentless Rats, in foil, from this set. Do you have any idea how much money that's going to cost you? That's going to cost you a lot of money, Billy. Oh, boy. Intangible Virtue, and Sunlands. Cool card. What streaks on it? The old streaker. Okay. Yeah, Relentless Rats. I can't... I, I'm sure the price went down. I think when I first saw it, it was like 40 something when I last looked. But I'm sure it's down now. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. Ugh, I'm not sure what it's down to, but I know it's down. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Bada boosh. That's a good one. Kiki Jiki's up to like 15. I think it's low as $10. It's low as 10 bucks. So it's, uh, it's, already, it's already back up, man. Pact of Negation. Now we're rolling out the big ones, baby! Ooh, thought season all up in ya. Woo! Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that, that's definitely going to get a sleeve of Oh, baby. Pulls the freaking thought season and pact of negation in the same pack. Get off me. Oh, man. If you stuck around this far, awesome. A <laughs> disdainful stroke. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around this far. Uh, I want to hear from you. So, um, I don't know, say something like, um, uh, say something like, uh, like, um, uh, say something like, uh, I bet the lotus blooms taste terrible. And, uh, I know you made it this far in the video, but man, I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, restore balance, bought a bank, monastery swift spear. This is a nice box, man. That right there alone is like 10 bucks, fellas, ladies. It's like 10 bucks just for a stinking swift spear, non-foil. What? I think it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. And like it's like 80 bucks for the foil version. What? Like people are nuts with this, man. Remand. Cool pool. Down to two packs. If we open one more foil time shift. What a 
I mean, that would be asking a lot. Herbord, Tomb of Yawgmoth, nice pull. And Pachuca Ball, great behind. Great, great box here. Great box. This was a this was a fun little video. Don't forget your bacon cheeseburger pizza, guys. You got you can't can't leave the, the show without that. There you go. All right. Walk the Aeons Lavinia. Wow. All right. So a quick little recap on these two boxes. Just the home runs. That's all I'm showing you. The waste, the mall drifter, Lavinia. But man, how beautiful is that? I'm jealous.